ട്രാൻസ്പെറൻറ്റ് അക്കാഡമിയിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം ഞാൻ ശിവകുമാർ നിങ്ങളുടെ അക്കൗണ്ടിംഗ് ഫാക്കൽറ്റി വി വിൽ ടുഡേ ഡിസ്കസ് ഹൗ ടു പ്രിപ്പയർ ആൻ ഇൻകം ആൻഡ് എക്സ്പെൻഡിച്ചർ അക്കൗണ്ട് ഫ്രം റെസീപ്റ്റ്സ് ആൻഡ് പേയ്മെന്റ്സ് അക്കൗണ്ട് ഇൻ ദ കേസ് ഓഫ് എ നോട്ട് ഫോർ പ്രോഫിറ്റ് ഓർഗനൈസേഷൻ സി ഇഫ് യു ആർ ഗിവൺ എ റെസീപ്റ്റ്സ് ആൻഡ് പേയ്മെന്റ്സ് അക്കൗണ്ട് there will be receipts on the debit side and payments on the credit side and posting will be done from the debit side of receipts and payments account to the credit of income and expenditure account because all incomes will be credited in the income and expenditure account and income arises from receipts so from the debit side of receipts and payments account to the credit side of income and expenditure account receipts to income naturally from the payment side of receipts and payments account to the debit side of income and expenditure account that is from payment to the expenditure now how to post items from the receipts and payments account to the income and expenditure account you see the receipts and payments account will begin with opening balance of cash as we have studied okay so the items on the debit side of receipts and payments account except opening balance of cash can be classified into two one income or you can call revenue item two liability you can call capital item only revenue items will be credited to income and expenditure account what is a revenue item how can you recognize a revenue item or how can you recognize an income from the receipt side an item to be an income must satisfy two conditions number 1 it must be of recurring nature number 2 it must not be meant for a particular purpose or item income aganamengil rendu conditions satisfy cheyanam ഒന്ന് അത് ആവർത്തിച്ചു വരാൻ പാടില്ല എല്ലാ വർഷവും ആണോ അല്ല ആവർത്തിച്ചു വരണം രണ്ട് അതൊരു പർട്ടിക്കുലർ പർപ്പസിന് വേണ്ടി നീക്കി വെച്ചതായിരിക്കാൻ പാടില്ല അപ്പൊ അത് റിക്കറിംഗ് നേച്ചർ ആയിരിക്കണം ആവർത്തിച്ച് ആവർത്തിച്ച് എല്ലാ വർഷവും വരുന്നതായിരിക്കണം രണ്ട് ഒരു പർട്ടിക്കുലർ പർപ്പസിന് വേണ്ടി നീക്കി വെച്ചതായിരിക്കാൻ പാടില്ല അപ്പോ വോട്ട് ആർ ദ ഇമ്പോർട്ടന്റ് ഐറ്റംസ് ദാറ്റ് വിൽ അപ്പി അറൗണ്ട് ദ റെസീപ്റ്റ്സ് ആൻഡ് പേയ്മെന്റ്സ് അക്കൗണ്ട് and which items are taken to income income and expenditure account we will see okay first item subscriptions what do you mean by subscription it is an important item on the debit side of receipts and payments account of a not for profit organization subscription means membership fees so it is of recurring nature it will be received by the organization every year and it is not meant for a particular purpose so definitely it is a revenue it can be credited to income and expenditure account second subscription for a particular purpose what is it subscription for tournament suppose your club is going to conduct a tournament and you are receiving sub- subscription exclusively for that purpose it is capitalized because an item to be a revenue it should not be meant for a particular purpose that is the second point what is the third third item we are going to discuss is entrance fees entrance fees may be recurring in certain organizations and may not be recurring in certain other organizations for example in an educational institution there will be admission every year so the entrance fees is of recurring nature it can be treated as revenue but in certain organizations if there is not regular admission in every year then it will be capitalized okay so entrance fees if it is recurring that will be treated as revenue otherwise capitalized and next one donation donation is one of the important items or source of fund of a not profit organization you know it may be of general or specific general donations in the case of general donations the criteria is if it is of a larger amount say for example about 10000 you can say it is capitalized if it is a smaller amount you can treat it as revenue and credited to income and expenditure account 
Next one is donation for a particular purpose, specific donation. It is naturally capitalized because an item to be an income must not be meant for a particular purpose. Then next one, life membership fees. It is received only once by a not-for-profit organization. Naturally, it is capitalized. Legacy. What is legacy? An amount received by a not-for-profit organization as per the will of a deceased person. Legacy. Then sale of old newspapers, magazines, etc. It's revenue. Club in the library is a recurring nature. Sale of old sports materials. It is of recurring nature. It is credited to income and expenditure account. Sale of fixed assets. Say for example, sale of furniture. Fixed asset sale is an item capital receipt. But that is profit or loss of revenue item. So if you are given sale of furniture, say for example, 1000 rupees. If its book value is given in the problem as 800. What do you mean by that? 800 worth of furniture is sold for rupees 1000. So there is a profit of 200. That profit will be credited to income and expenditure account. If it is a loss, that will be debited to income and expenditure account. So in the case of sale of fixed asset, the profit or loss will be taken to income and expenditure account. The next item, interest receipt, entertainment proceeds. They are revenue items. Interest, bank deposit is the recurring nature on cinema interest to get them. That's income on Entertainment proceeds, calabri vadi gala dharati gita paisa. Income. Then funds. Next item, funds. Tournament fund, match fund, prize fund. All these items are liability capitalized because they are for specific purposes. Okay, these are the important items that appear on the debit side of receipts and payments account and their treatment. You know, next is on the payment side. The items on the payment side of receipts and payments account may be classified into two. Expense or revenue, asset or capital. Only expense will be debited to income and expenditure account. These are the items which are you are very much familiar with. An item to be an expense, it must be of recurring nature. Say for example, salaries. Actually, it is an expense that is debited to income and expenditure account. Rent, debited to income and expenditure account. Printing and stationery, debited to income and expenditure account. Advertising, debited to income and expenditure account. But furniture is given. If you purchase furniture by payment of cash, naturally, it is a capital item going to the asset side. If you are given sports equipment, it is a capital item. If there are library books, capital item, asset. That's all. And when you balance the income and expenditure account, if you get the balance on the debit side, it will become a surplus, excess of income over expenditure. If you get the balance on the credit side, it is a deficit, excess of expenditure over income. That will be transferred to capital fund. This is how you prepare a, an income and expenditure account from the receipts and payments account. In the next video, we will discuss how to prepare the balance sheet of a not-for-profit organization. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. See you in the next class. Bye.